Welcome back to the channel. I'm Chase and this is All Things Around. Today we are discussing homages. But when I say homages, I don't mean the standard Chinese homage. I'm talking about major, major watch brands who do homages of other major watch brands. Now, I hear what you're saying in the beginning of the video. Everybody does homage watches. You would be correct. However, a lot of people, when they associate the word homage, they associate companies like Parnas or Pagani Design or San Martin. When they're discussing things like Rolex Submariner homages, but today we are not. Today we are looking at major, major watch brands that everybody knows that copy other watch brands. So when you guys start to look at people's wrists and you're like, hey, you right there, you're wearing an homage. That's that's almost a fake watch. Just remember, just because it's a Pagani design or just because it's a Parnas and it is a homage of a Rolex Explorer or Rolex OP or a Submariner, just remember that there are also watch companies to include watch companies like Seiko who have also done the exact same thing. Now let's get into this list. Now the first one we're talking about is going to be an homage of one of my favorite watches. If you guys enjoy Elvis Presley, you would know about the Hamilton Ventura. The Hamilton Ventura is a very, very unique triangular watch that is very recognizable on the wrist if you know what it is. Then you look at the Seiko SNN05. Look at this thing. Literally, it is the exact same thing as the Hamilton Ventura. Now, Hamilton itself is not a very prestigious watch brand. By that, I don't mean they're not prestigious. I mean, Hamilton makes some pretty damn good watches. In fact, I own a Hamilton Big Khaki Pilot watch, and I love that thing. It is one of my favorite watches. It is a staple in my watch collection. However, Hamilton doesn't make really high-end pieces. By that, I mean they don't make like ten dollars or $20,000 watches, and a company like Seiko is going to come in and make an homage of that really expensive watch so you get the feel and design. I mean, we're talking about a watch that's maybe like $1,500. Now, $1,500 may seem like a lot to some, but when you look at the totality of the entire watch community where you could spend $450,000 on a watch or $35,000 on a Rolex that's worth 12, I mean really 1500 bucks isn't really that much. Now yes, the Seiko is far cheaper than the Hamilton, but better just save your money and get the Hamilton and get the original. Now next is going to be another Seiko watch and I'm, I'm telling you that it's just it kind of makes me laugh when I started to put together this list because I, I knew I started seeing watches that were very familiar in their design by these watch companies like Seiko. Now today we are talking about specifically on the number two list, the Seiko Essentials SWR049. Look at this thing. Now you could say, hey Chase, that is a square watch and it looks extremely familiar to me. And I would say yes, it is extremely familiar to you because the Cartier Tank Solo is literally that watch. Now, yes, you could say, hey, Chase, again, I cannot afford to spend five grand on a Cartier Tank Solo. And in fact, some of the tanks are, there's been like, there was a controversy, I wanna say about 10 years ago, where some of the Cartier movements were of course quartz and they were housed with a a plastic movement holder which i think is hilarious because you're spending thousands on a brand anyway that being said the cartier tank solo is not a cheap watch you can buy one used for i would say a reasonable price however if you want to get the more affordable option this Seiko is probably right up your alley. Now Seiko, if you look at the older style watches, especially when it comes to a square watch like this, it is that classy dress watch. I'm not going to put a damper on the fact that you would wear this square Seiko because preferably I would prefer this Seiko over Cartier Tank 
solo only because I wouldn't want to spend a, a bunch of money on a Cartier. Yes, they are like a really good uh, jewelry uh, brand, but it's just not my thing. If I was gonna, if I wanted a square watch, I'd go with the cheaper option anyway. Now staying on the square, square watch, staying on the square watch and the Cartier Tank Solo again, right here if you guys missed the last one. Now we are looking at a Citizen EcoDrive BM6788-05A. Again, can't really, like I can't really fault you if you wanna get the Citizen EcoDrive instead, simply because yes, Citizen does offer really good quality. It is a Japanese watch company and the EcoDrive, you never have to replace the battery. So I don't necessarily blame you on that end. It's just funny how these companies, you have Citizen, you have Seiko so far, Seiko twice so far, and it's just funny to me how you have these really, 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 really well-known watch brands that could do anything and they're creating watches that are of these classic other high-end models. I just have to bring that to your attention. Again, I would choose as a Citizen over the Cartier only because I'm not a big Cartier fan. And yes, I may get a lot of comments, negative comments down below about that, but I really don't care. Now the next one on the list, everybody, everybody, everybody in their, everybody has created an homage of the famous Gerald Genta style of watch to include something like the Royal Oak. And to so, is not one to also take this bait. And today we're talking about the Tissot PRX Powermatic 80. Now I've seen this watch in review from everybody like Teddy Balthazar. I mean, basically everybody has reviewed this watch and they all have a lot of positive things to say about this watch. And honestly, it is a reasonably priced watch. One of the things that I really like about Tissot, especially their Powermatic 80, basically the Powermatic 80 is a movement that is slowed down from 28,800 beats an hour to 21,600 beats an hour. So then that power reserve lasts longer. Now this is very well known. And Tissot is a really, really great watch brand. They are Swiss made and they give you a lot of value, sort of like Hamilton does. But they sort of had to jump in on this Gerald Genta-esque royal oak integrated bracelet sort of square octagonal style watch uh, just like everybody else one of the things that i really don't respect about some watch companies is they have to hop on the bandwagon of something popular now is that a good business decision sure of course it is a lot of people would say well you have to go where the money is and i completely agree with you you do have to go where the money is if the money isn't here and you don't shift focus, you're gonna go broke. So I completely understand that. But this is sort of all getting a little old, and uh, you know, I'd really like to see some different models that are not Royal Oak-esque. Now, not Royal Oak-esque would be something like a Omega Speedmaster. Specifically, we'll talk about maybe the 1970s version of the original Moonwatch, right? A lot of people know that the Omega Speedmaster is the original Moonwatch on the moon of Apollo. There was another watch brand, Bulova. The Lunar Pilot itself also is a Moonwatch. And it did go into space with, I believe, Apollo 15. That being said, these watches are extremely similar. And yes, 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 they're both moon watches. However, Omega did it best. Bulva came in and sort of copied and did it least. You can agree, disagree. The difference also is the Omega is a hand wound movement originally in the 1970s and the Bulova is a, currently I believe it's a, like a, a quartz. So now last but not least on this list, this was only five of the watch companies, but I had to, I had to, I had to mention Hublot, okay? Now if you look at this Hublot right here, first you would think, oh, it's a Richard meal, and it's a Richard meal that would be worth 500 to a mil 500,000 to a million dollars, right? Especially the pure sapphire case. But Hublot had to say, look, we want you to blow your money, who blow your money, and instead we're gonna offer 
nearly the exact same thing where it gets confused on people's wrists to where they think that instead of a hublot, it is a Richard meal, which in fact, it's a hublot and it's not a Richard meal. Now, I'm not a giant fan of Richard meal. I do like the fact that they do do some pretty awesome stuff with some pretty cool elements when it comes to their watches. The Sapphire case, if you look, I'm wearing a Sapphire case watch right now from, from Aventi and they do like the carbon fiber and they have a lot of really cool watches for an extremely insanely amount of money, which I will never, ever, ever be able to afford because I'm a standard human being who isn't ultra wealthy. However, Hublot had to hop on the bandwagon and be just like Richard Mille and they had to make watches that look exactly like them. Now, what do you guys think about this list? Hit the subscribe button, leave a comment of the content you guys would like to see. On this channel, I have so many videos coming in the future. Well, I am going on a trip actually at the end of the week. So the videos are gonna be, I'm gonna try to release another video before I leave on Friday. Then I will proactively release a video like a week after that. And then a week after that, I gotta shoot it all this week to make sure you guys are getting the content. Now, if you guys are interested in things outside of the watch world to include mental health, physical health. I do have another channel called All Things Mind, Body, and Soul. I will link it down below. That is my second channel. And that is basically I, every week I go through and I talk about things like mental health, alcoholism, drug addiction, losing weight, getting, getting on TRT, testosterone replacement therapy, because you know, I basically destroyed my body as a police officer and I do basic, you know, week vlogs. If you guys are interested, check that out down below. Now, again, like I said, I have a lot of videos coming up in the future, so please make sure you guys are hitting that notification bell so you can be notified when I drop that next video. Until next time.